right, so now that we have our actual uh, program laid out and we have, you know, we kind of understand the way that projects can be done, right? Just one demeanor, one aspect, or, you know, just one point of view, right? So uh, just know that that can be done many, many different ways. We're going to get into programming now, right? So when it comes down to it, we're going to get down to the fundamentals and help those that need the fundamentals to help grow and get better with, you know, different components and stuff of that nature. So uh, with that talked about, We've opened up our premix tanks routine, and we have no rungs in here, right? So we're going to add a rung, and we're briefly going to talk about just uh, you know some common bits and stuff of that nature and stuff that you would commonly use. Now, and I want to do this to to give a full clarity of how things work. So when we get the we're going to get the programming pretty quick, and I want to make you like aware of you know basically how the structure of programming can be done in the way it should be done and why things are working the way they are because logically again this is the the fundamentals of how things work right so if you go up to bits up here at the top right this is uh you have your toolbar up here where you have your different commands your or your different instructions that you can be you could use you have your favorites over here which generally have uh you know your add to wrong you have your branch, you have your, uh, this would be an extended branch level. This would be the uh, a standard bit, which is uh, an examine on, meaning a Boolean value, a one or a zero. This is a Boolean value, right? And this is an examine on. So this is saying, okay, when the bit is on, when it is active and is high, it's a state of one. The Boolean is a state of one then that bit will be true. The opposite of that is an examine off, right? So an examine off is a case of that Boolean being a uh, basically uh, an equal to zero. So if you think about it, this would be, you would have a Boolean equal to one would be the use, you can use that as an examine on, and the Boolean off you could use as an examine off, right? So you can use these counter each other too so meaning you can you can say okay well let's just say i want to monitor the state of it when the boolean is off then you use the examine off uh, so it's very very easy now uh, when it comes down to it also understand too you have outputs and output genera uh, um, energized right here which is an ote okay so when you actually look at that that will be an instruction type and it will show ote which is an output energized this will actually give you the availability and the functionality of actually turning the bit on in a very simple manner. This is not the only way you can turn that bit on, and that bit could be a bit, it could be a bull, it could be a standard boolean. So that this is always going to be a standard one or zero, right? So this is not going to be where you're using this as an indent or a cent or an, uh, a different data type like an integer. So again, common. Uh, different integers that you would be using the most common integers would be a boolean so we'll actually bring this up and we'll talk about this a little bit easier here and I want to just talk about this so your common is your boolean right and this is a one or zero right then you're gonna have uh, a cent you're gonna have which is not commonly used anymore then you're gonna have an int which is an integer and then you're going to have a dent, right? So the dent is 32, the integer is six or 16. So this is 32 bits, and this is 16 bits, whereof the cent is 8 bits. So the boolean is 1, okay? So a, but you can have multiple booleans. You can have like you can create different data types and stuff like that as far as the array of data. You were going to get into that how you can do that differently. But I just want you to break down what we're talking about up here is a one or a zero. We're not talking about these other values right now. Okay, we're not talking about these other data types. So if you think about this, this is common data types. Okay, so this is very, very, very simple. Common data types, generally, again, one or zero, which is a Boolean value, and then 
most commonly used is going to be a dent in the control logics environment and the second would be an integer now a commonly like sometimes you will use a cent but very 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 rare you would use that for like uh different things like drives and stuff of that nature just in very rare formats okay so just talking about that really quick you have this again the examine on examine off that's the two ways you monitor the one or the zero the monitor the state of that boolean value right and then the output which is an ote is the state of actually being able to control that boolean tell it to come on or tell it to come off right so and then you have this would be uh, the ote is a, if the rung is completely active then it would work right then it would be on if the rung is not active then it's not on now in the counter side to that you have what they call the output latch and output latch right here and unlatch so let's actually go from favorites over here to bits so you can see these a little bit better bits are your boolean type in, in you know uh instructions that you can use again this is uh just kind of going over the the raw basic instructions that we will be going through and using in this actual training environment so i want to make sure you're very very aware of that so we went through all these now you do have your latch okay and your unlatch okay so this is uh this is saying it's a jump but again when it comes down to it that that is not this is an, an actual latch so this is a latch bit right so so this is latching a boolean input oh now it's actually showing the right thing so i think it was just a fact of maybe i hovered over the wrong thing okay so this uh this bit right here okay so we talked about the ote which is the output on which is a boolean on which is only going to be when the rung is true this rung like whatever rung you're on is completely true now the opposite to that or a better or a different way to control that would be a output latch where you only have to make it for a split second and then the rung doesn't have to stay true to have that bit on the bit will stay on until you do an unlatch bit right so until you command it to unlatch so you can command it to latch and then you can command it to unlatch as well and then on the so counter to to what you're doing here on the ote the output energize the output energize is going to be something that again the rung is completely true and then you would actually use it then it would be on right now the output latch the rung has to be true to come on and then when it comes on it will stay on until the unlatch comes on so until you unlatch it okay so that's the way you control the latch and unlatch of a boolean state then you have your ons which is a one shot value this is basically saying okay i'm i'm only going to use this one time very on one scan one scan of the processor i'm going to use this then you have your one shot rising and a one shot falling so one shot rising is when the the bit transitions to a one and then when the one shot falling is when the boolean value transitions from a one to a zero so that's a one shot falling so that's when they would command to actually indicate the next rung and, and again that's when so I'm, I'm kind of briefly going through talking about the common instructions now just to talk about this real quick if you had an examine on you wanted to examine a boolean value on Say if we wanted to come over here and examine an input value on. Um, in this case, let's go ahead and make some just really, really simple stuff. So what I want to do is delete this real quick. So now that we kind of talked about this, I'm going to download this to my processor. So I want to download this to my processor for multiple reasons. For one, I want to show you live about what we just described right i'm going to show you live exactly what we just described so you get a common knowledge and an uh, easy understanding about what a boolean is right so what a boolean is how it works okay so this is mission group defined but does it not not synchronized okay so that's perfectly fine we're not actually using our motion group right now but we will synchronize our motion group all right so we're going to add a wrong we're going to come in here and we're going to throw a, a a boolean value in our not a boolean value but a um an instruction in here to an examine on to monitor the boolean right so 
in this case what we're going to do is we're going to go to our controller tags we're just going to pick one of our inputs I'm just going to pick this one right here and I'm just giving you this as a rough example and I'm just going to paste it right here this is a real world input from a real world car card right this is the card input card down here and I want you to see this so when I when I push this button it will turn green okay so let me highlight off of that so you can see that a little bit better okay so you've seen that turn green right so if I were to use the counter state to that and I were to come over here and use the counter state to that which is an examine off right then you'll see as soon as I push the button again, the, this bit will go off and this bit will come on. Okay? So I want you to see that. Okay, so that, that's very, very easy to see, right? So now that's two ways you can use that, right? So that's just giving you a common knowledge. Now I want to show you an output. So let's go and grab one of our outputs or we'll go to our output card, which is down here on card four. And I'm just, just giving you a rough example right now. This is not the programming that we're going to be doing for our actual program right now, but we will be doing that uh, shortly. So I'm just going to paste this in here real quick. Again, that's the OTE. I'm just going to paste this in here real quick. Now, when I turn this on, now I have to go ahead and assemble. So just so you know, every time you make an edit, if I if right now in the current state that it's in, with this, the, the two I marks, right, which is the information marks where you're, you're in edit mode, if I push the button, it will not turn on the output. Okay, I want you to see that. However, when I assemble, generally you would verify, you would accept the pending edits, okay, accept pending edits, make sure there's no errors, then you would come over here and you would test the pending edits, and then now, if you're in test mode, you can actually indicate that bit on, or this uh, this output on, right? Let me show you that. Okay, so now it does cut that bit on. Now, if once you've tested it, you can go over here to it, finalize the edit, so that it is now final. Okay, so now, anytime that I use it, it's going to automatically work. Okay, so just showing that real quick, we're gonna show you how to do an, an, a latch. So we're gonna do a latch right here. I'm, I'm just gonna say when I'm hitting the button, okay, I wanna cut, turn on this bit. So I wanna turn this to, let's copy this right here. And let's come over here and do a latch. And when we do our latch, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an unlatch here, right? So we're, on this one, we're gonna do an unlatch. Do an unlatch here. So now we can just go ahead, if we know we're 100% we're sure of what we're doing, and you'll see this quite a bit while I'm programming, I'm just gonna go ahead and finalize from the get-go. I'm gonna finalize from the start instead of testing. Now I want you to see this. Now it's going to be the the output's going to be off right now when it, the button is not pushed. When I push the button, it will be it'll turn on. And then so when I push the button, it turns on, and when I release the button, it turns off. Okay. Now I can do a one shot in here and have it only do a one shot. We can talk about that a little bit later. But again, when it comes down to it. I don't want to make these videos too long. I want to make these videos short and sweet. So for the sake of what we did, we have kind of, I'm going to delete these rungs because we're not utilizing those. I just wanted to describe the commonality of using a Boolean, what a Boolean is, and some common features you would use to monitor a Boolean value and to control a Boolean value as well. So a Boolean is a one or zero inside of a program type, you know, any type of, of, of programming, right? So it doesn't matter if you're just standard controlling, you know, you're programming uh, Microsoft or you're programming uh, different type of computer systems or whatever the case may be. A Boolean is a one or a zero, okay? So um, until you get into uh, 
I think it's like different kind of computing you would change from different things but again when it comes down to it we're showing really 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 simple stuff here where and I'm showing you the way it's used in studio 5000 a boolean is a one or a zero and this is how you use those you come up here to your toolbar you would see these commonalities up here that you would use these common these uh, that there are common instructions that you would pop you would use to you know might either monitor the, the boolean value or either you know turn the boolean value on or off right the boolean could be an input and output or it could just be a standard tag that you make inside of your control logic processor right so keep in mind the control logic processor is not is is a data type system is a data type when I talk about data types I'm talking about the data types over here it is a data type system however it is a tag based protocol right it's a tag based protocol so you're gonna make a tag you're gonna make the tag as you know base it doesn't have to be related to anything you can name it instead of saying the old way of doing things would be like b3.15 in your case you can say start bit one or you can say start push button start underscore push button and we'll get into that in the very a couple next videos but again when I come down to it I want to make sure you understand the standard protocols of controlling a boolean so when we get into programming some of these things and components can be easily understandable all right so with all that said we'll continue on to the very next video